to learn how to create amazing game environments and assets, 3D Tutor now has a massive library of courses. Whether you're interested in medieval or stylization, sci-fi or low poly, kitbash to oriental fantasy, you can find it all in one place at 3D Tutor. Find me across multiple platforms or over on Patreon, where you'll not only be able to support my work, but have access to hundreds of hours of tutorials. If this sounds too good to be true, then check out the links down below. And now, let's get started with the video. Welcome back everyone to the second part of the Oriental Roof tutorial. And with that said, let's get straight into it. So let's make a start on these centre tiles. And I can also see that at the moment, my orientation for these is in the centre. Now, if yours isn't in the centre, the best thing to do is to come to your actual main part of your roof, press tab, come into face select, grab this top, shift S, cursor to select it, tab, grab your piece of wood, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Now we can actually put this on each side of these. So if I come over now to my little spanner, add modifier, come down and we're looking for the mirror and there's the first one on. Let's even do them all at the same time. So X and Y, hover over it, press control A and there we go. So there's the first part of our actual roof done. Now let's work on the next part, which is basically getting these roof tiles over along here. So what I tend to do is I'll grab both of these. I've got no modifiers on the moment. So now what I can do is I can press control J. I can then come over and just make sure that my auto smooth is on like so. And then finally what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put something under here, basically um, what's going to be gold under here. It's like a half semicircle. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll come to the bottom of here. So I'm going to press tab, come to the bottom of here, press shift S, cursor selected, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift A, and bring in a cylinder. This cylinder, I'm going to open this up and put it on something like 16, like so. And then I'm going to spin it around. So R Y 90, I'm going to shrink it down like so. I'm not sure if that's where it's going to be at the moment. As you can see, it's a little bit out. So I need to make it a little bit bigger, something like this. And then I need to shrink it down on this uh, X axis. So S and X like so. Now I'm just going to bring it out and just make it a, a semicircle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do grab these two faces, delete faces. And then I want the halfway points, which are here and here, delete faces, grab the rest of it, L, delete, vertices, and now let's fill in this. So we'll grab this edge here, this edge here, press F, Alt, Shift and click, Alt F this time, just to fill all that in. Make sure beauty's off and it sometimes makes it a little bit bare. It's not actually doing anything on this one for some reason, I'm not sure why, but it's still filled in. So you can also press F, right click, and we come to face select triangulate faces and you can see that it fills it in a little bit better than that. Either way, it doesn't matter because we just need to mark some seams on here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and grab all of these edges going round. So Alt, Shift and click. Same on this one. So let's grab them all going round like so, coming all the way around. And we will see them uh, actually when we've marked our seam, so we can see them going all the way around. I'm just going to mark a seam on here and here then. Right click, mark seam. And now that should unwrap absolutely perfectly. So now what we need to do is we just need to bring down this bottom of it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press 3, I think it is. Control 3, there we go. Let's bring in our proportional editing and let's bring it in with the mouse. Just bring it down just a little bit, something like that, just to make it a little bit more of a, a different shape. Now let's press L, pull it back into place without proportional editing on, like so. I'm gonna press uh, one or three on my number pad, it's control three actually. And let's now make it a little bit smaller, pull it into place, bring it up so it just fits under there, like so. That's exactly as I want it. And now what I need to do is when I bring this to the tile and just make sure they all fit together. So this is this part here. Now, again, all we need, we need to smooth it off first. So shade smooth, auto smooth on. You can see it's smoothed off there, apart from the bottom. 
Um, I think I'm up with the bomb being like that anyway, so that's fine. So now what I want to do is I just want to bring in some material for this. So first of all, I'm going to grab it, press U on the wrap, and you'll see again we've got this problem. So Control A, all transforms, tab, U on the wrap. There we go. Now let's bring in our material. So we're coming over, we'll bring in a new material, and we'll call this gold. And what you can do with these actually, you can bring these in with the insert and then you could put on a kind of oriental ornament work or something like that. And I'll just show you a quick picture on the right hand side here of what I actually mean. But you can certainly add that to these parts here and the actual gold. So it's got some kind of gold leaf. And that's really gonna, then going to push your model that little bit further. All right, so let's come in now to shading. Principle, Control Shift T. Let's go back and find gold. And I'm going to come down, select them all, principled, bring in my gold, and let's see what that looks like. So tab, and there we go. There's our gold. All right, so now I need to join these all together. So I'm going to grab this, this, and this. Control J, join it all together like so. And now we can start bringing this over here. So what I tend to do is I tend to, first of all, bring it all the way over here so that I've got it where I want it. So in other words, I don't particularly want um, this part sticking out of here. And you can also see that this as well is going to probably be a little bit too chunky, these parts here. This is where I always uh, make sure that it's correct before I carry on. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, let's come over and bring in a modifier. I'm going to bring in an array. Let's uh, put the X on zero. And let's, I think, yeah, it's the Y that we're going to move over. And we're just going to get it to where we want it. So if I put this on minus 0.9, I'm just going to make sure that these are fitting in place and that I'm happy with it. You can see that these is what I'm talking about, where they're actually sticking out, and I don't want that at all. So I'm going to turn up the count first, like so. So you can see that this is stuck out past here. That's not something I particularly want. So what I need to do is I just need to bring this back like so, just to make sure that they are within my actual roof. And then what I want to do is, of course, I need to make this now smaller so that we haven't got all these white bits showing through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to press S and X and bring that back just so it's in a better place. So there you can see now it looks much, much better like so. We'll have to probably do that as well on the other side. But for now, we've got this in the right place. We've made sure that all of these are under here. So now what we can do is we come back to our roof, turn up, all the way up. And now we can see that as well, that we need our tiles basically to end on each of these. In other words, we don't want these poking through. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we're actually going to apply this array. So I'm going to press Control A, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, set origin to geometry. Then I'm going to come to the top of my roof. So I'm going to click on my roof, tab, grab the top of it, shift S, cursor selected, tab, grab my roof again, shift S, selection to cursor. And what that's going to do is it's going to put it right bang in where it needs to be. So now I can bring it back into place, like so, making sure that it's back far enough to fit these parts in. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit like so. Yeah, and then that's exactly as I want it. And now all I need to do is I just need to stretch it out just to make sure that we can get rid of these parts. So I'm going to press S and Y, pull it out, and there we go. Perfect. That is exactly what I want. Now what do we need to do is I need to cut away these parts because I don't actually want them. We've already got our materials on here, so that's great. So basically I just want to cut them away. So if I press uh, Control 3 now, Press the tab button, A to grab everything, and let's come in with our actual bisect. So first of all though, I find it easier just to grab each side of these. So this one and this one. Press delete and come down and click on vertices. That then gets rid of those. And now they're out of the way, just find it much easier. So I'm gonna press A, I'm gonna come to mesh, come down, we've got bisect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on my bisect. So I'm gonna click it and drag it all the way up to here like so, and then if you come down, you'll see that you can clear the inner or clear the outer. So you can see there, I've cleared the outer, and that's what we should be left with. Now, before you carry on, just make sure you're happy with it. So press tab again. You can see how nice that cut is. 
you can see that none of the uh, textures have been messed with. So now if you press Control 3, let's do the other side. So if I press uh, Tab A, Mesh, Bisect, and let's go the other way this time. So I'm going to cut down to here, like so, cut it away, and there we go. Perfect. All right, so let's press Tab, double tap the A, and now we can see exactly what we're looking at. So you can see it's really already starting to come together now. Right, let's uh, bring this roof round now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this roof. I'm going to press Shift D. I'm going to bring it over to this side this time, or Z90, spin it round, and it should fit. If it doesn't, I can make it fit. So I'm just going to pull it around. So I'm going to pull it to where I want it. So I think something like that. And we're going to make it a little bit wider. I'm just looking to make sure that you can see I need to pull this bomb bit out and then I need to rotate it. So let's rotate it. So R and X. So let's go in the right angle like so. And then let's pull it back into place so it all fits in. So you can see there, not quite fitting in as I wanted it, but we do have to pull this back. We just want to make sure that these kind of pieces here are actually under our wood. So we see that we can need to make this wider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can also see as well that these, you can see they're the way out at the moment. So let's just try and pull it out a little bit more. Try and bend it. So R and X, bend it a little bit more like so. And just see if that can get into place. I'm going to pull it out now. So S and X. So my tile is right up against there. And I'm just looking to make sure it's even now, which you can see it's a little bit out as well. So I need to pull it. Something like that, I think it's absolutely fine. Let's even pull it down a little bit as well. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I want. All right, something like that. Now all I need to do is I need to just bring in my roof now. So if I press S and Y, bring it in. Like so, and you can see we've got a little bit still poking out there. So I'm going to press S and Y, bring it in a little bit more like so and that's looking really nice all right let's press uh, one so we've got the front of it and now let's cut away these I'm just making sure that they're all in there and I'm happy with them which I am let's press three uh, one again sorry tab a make sure we've got it all I've got grab the wrong thing there we go tab a you can see here I need to get rid of this first so I'm, I'm actually going to uh, get rid of this first I'm gonna grab this one and this one, press delete and vertices. That then just makes it easier so I can see what I'm doing. So mesh, bisect, and now let's come up and delete that side. And then A, let's do the same thing on here. Oops, A, mesh, bisect, like so. Tab, double tap the A, and there we go. All right, so that's looking really good. Now let's come to this one and we need to basically put the orientation in the center of here. So I'm going to right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Same with this one, right click, set origin, 3D cursor. Let's come to this one first, add modifier, mirror, and that's going to mirror over the other side. Let's now come to this one, add modifier, mirror, and that's going to mirror it, not over that side. It's a little bit out on that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to each of these and I'm going to reset then the orientation. So Control A, all transforms, right click, so origin 3D cursor. And with this one, all transforms, right click, so origin two, 3D cursor. There we go. All right, add modifier, mirror. That's that one. Add modifier, mirror on the Y, take the X off, double tap the A. And there you go. You can see it looks really, really nice. All right. You can see as well that we haven't uh, quite got everything done yet because it's not got the type of feel. It's very boxy and things like that. Now we've done that, you will notice at the moment that we've got pretty much the same um, actual textures going all the way across. And that's not something we really want. So we need to sort that out. So what we'll do is first we'll apply our mirrors. So I'll press Control A, come to this one, Control A. And now let's sort out these actual uh, textures. So I'm gonna grab all of these roof parts Press Ctrl J to join them all together. Press the tab button, A, and now let's join them all together like so. And now we can come to our UV editing, and you'll see that there's a whole litany of these. 
And then what I can do is I can press A, and then I can come to UV and Pack Islands. Just make sure when you pack islands that you come to where it says rotate. So you open that up, click that off, and now you'll have them going all the correct way, and now they'll all be different. All you need to do now is just grab them all, press the S button, pull them out, and make them much, much smaller, like so. And now you'll see the look really, really nice once again. And the best thing of all is they all look different. Now let's do that for the wood as well. So I'm gonna grab all the wood, press A, just to make sure you've got everything. Press U, and you're gonna pack islands. Rotation should already be off, so that's fine. And then all you need to do is just pull it out with S, and just make sure they're happy with the wood. I need to make it bigger, so I'm gonna pull it out again, like so, and now you can see that all the wood looks different as well. So now if we go back to modeling, double tap the A, put on our EV, and there you go, that's what you should have at the moment. Now, of course, our actual light is not bright enough, so I'm going to brighten that up as well. I'm gonna come on to my sun, put it on three, something like that. Yeah, and I think that looks really nice. So I'm going to come now to grab my main part of the wood, and this is why we put all of these edge loops in the beginning, because we can then use those to actually bring this in and create that really, really nice shape that we're actually looking for. So all we need to do now is join it all together. So I'm going to join this and this together so press ctrl j and then join this and this together press ctrl j put it back on materials just so we can see what we're doing a little bit better and now let's bring in our lattice so to bring in a lattice all you need to do is you need to press shift a to go into your primitives and then you'll see one that actually says lattice so bring that in it'll just come in as a cube and then just make it the right size first so if we press s bring it out just so it overlaps everything and then press S and Y, pull it out to the edges of your roof and then go the other way now. So if I press uh, three, I can bring it down and then I can press S and Z and just line it up like so. Now there is a thing that you really want to be careful when you bring your lights in that we don't bend these too much, okay? So just be aware of that. Now with the lattice as well, you'll notice on the right hand side, we do have revolution resolutions on each of these. And this is the one you need to turn up, the W. So if you turn up the W, you'll see then that you've got a lot of options to actually bend this where you need it to bend. You don't need to touch the other ones, it's only this one that you need to mess around with. All right, so now we need to actually though, attach this lattice to our actual roof. So how do we do that? So we grab our roof, we come over to our add modifiers, when we come down, you'll have one that says lattice. Then all you need to do is where it says object, click the pipette and come and click on lattice. And there you go. Now let's come back to our lattice. Let's press uh, three, press the tab button. And now you'll see if I come in and I grab these with box select. So press B, drag and select like so. I can actually then press the S button and you'll see that we actually start to bring it in. So let's press B on this one. Press the S button, like so. And then let's do the next one. So B, press the S button. And then finally this top one, B, S, like so. And now we've got those nice slopes that you uh, come to recognize from the oriental um, roofs and things like that. You can see that we have moved these just a very slight bit, but not enough to put it out of shape. All right, so I'm really, really happy with that slope now. Now, we've done that, let's come back to our roof and apply our lattice, so Control A. Let's grab our lattice, press Delete, we don't need that anymore. And now what we need to do is we need to fix this. So this underneath here is going to be our basically our wood that fits underneath here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press P, Selection, and that then is gonna separate it out from the rest of my roof. Press the Tab button, press uh, select and then I can bring that down now. Now the other thing is that I need to put more edge loops into here as well. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down like so and then I'm gonna push it back up into place and then I can use my simple deform. So first of all, I need to split all of these off but as I said, I already need some edge loops in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control R. I'm gonna press um, maybe something like five. So scroll the mouse wheel five times, left click, right click, and then I'm gonna come around to the other side. I'm gonna press Control R. 
maybe five again, left click, right click, something like that. Now I need to split these all off because I need these as pieces of wood. So the easiest way to do that is press Alt, Shift and click going down each one of these like so and the bottom one and then Alt, Shift, click going up the edges like so. Right click then, mark seam and you should end up with something like this. And now you need to do is you need to select one of these edges, control select this one and just control select, keep going round, control select, control select, right click, mark seam. All right, now we can actually split these off. So I need now to just come in, press the L button in face select because I've actually made islands here, which means that they're very easy now to split off. So if I come in and I grab each other one, and I press Y and then you'll see that if I press G now I can actually move those away right click hide them out of the way and now let's come into the next one so L L L and L Y G right click hide them out of the way and then basically just work your way down the rest of them so I'm going to come in I'm going to do this side as well and basically we just want to make sure that all of these are split off so I'm going to press Y G right click H hide them out of the way and then let's come to these ones. So L, 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 and then Y, G, right click, hide them out of the way. And then L, 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 Y, G, hide them out of the way. And now everything should be split. So Alt H, bring everything back. And the easiest way to check that actually is to grab everything with A, come up, make sure you're on individual origins, press one, press the S button, shrink them in, and they should all shrink in and you should see if there's any actually joined. And you can see here, none of them are actually joined. Okay, so far so good. Now what we wanna do is we actually want to bring in um, another modifier. So let's uh, first of all, press Control A, all transforms, right click, so origin to geometry, add modifier. Let's bring in a solidify, make sure that even thickness is on, and then just bring them in either that way or that way. I think actually I'll bring mine this way. I think that'll uh, actually be better. Um, and then what you need to do is you can apply that now because you'll already see that you've got all of these seams on which means that they should all unwrap pretty much uh, pretty easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press tab, come over to solidify, press control A and now I'm going to grab them all and actually pull them all together. So they look like pieces of wood basically. So if I press S now and bring them together so we've still got a gap down each one and then of course now I need to bring them the other way. So I need to press S and let's have a look Y and bring these out so they're actually touching like so and then you can see underneath that's exactly what you actually want okay so now let's bring in some materials so we'll come over to our materials panel and you can see I've got all these materials attached to this don't really want that so I'm going to click them all off and click plus new I'm just going to call this wood like so come over to shading click on principle control shift T and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the up button come to wood and I'm going to click all of these five principled let my wood come in and we should end up with something like that all right you can see though we do have a problem in that the wood although it does look good it looks like they're all together so I think it's unwrapped them all together so I haven't actually unwrapped them yet that's one thing so let's press U on the wrap and there we go the look a ton better now let's go to UV editing and what we need to do is we need to fix um, any that we see that are not um, actually correct. You can see we've got a ton of problems and the reason is for that is because we haven't got any seams um, going up the side. So I'm gonna fix all these now. So I'm gonna come in and just select all of the faces on each of these sides. So I'm gonna do these ones first, like so. So just shift selecting each one. And this is just the easiest way to actually do this because this wood is actually on the inside. So you're not really going to see it unless you're actually inside the building or something like that. So let's press Control E, mark seams like so. And now I should be able to grab each one of these. Let's see if it works now, should do. Like so, we'll do this one first. And let's press U, unwrap, and there you go. Now you can see they've unwrapped absolutely fine. Now you just need to uh, spin all of these around, I think. I think they're all facing the wrong, wrong way, so R90. Nope, they're all facing the right way, so let's leave them like that. All right, so that's that side done. Let's hide those out of the way, and now we'll come to the other side. I'm gonna grab each one of these, like so, and then this one. 
and I'm actually going to save my workout as well just make sure you saved yours out it's the first time uh, I should have said I should save your workout before but I forgot so it's a long project this one I'm just trying to uh, show you as quickly as possible so control E mock seam and then we can uh, also mock seam on these corners so we can unwrap these all at the same time so I'm just gonna grab in edge select each of these corners like so control E mock seam a to grab everything U unwrap and we should be cooking on gas now there we go all right so now let's press ctrl a or transforms right clicks origin to geometry let's come back now to modeling and now i should be able to get this into place like so and let's have a look to make sure that they're not sticking too far over which of course they are so i'm going to press s and x bring these in first just so my pieces of wood are actually sat under there. Then I'm gonna press S and Y, bring them in. Again, so my pieces of wood are sat under here. You can see they're touching a little bit here, so I need to bring them in a little bit more. So S and Y, like so. Double tap the A, and there we go. Now let's join, well, you can see as well, we do have a slight problem in the top part. So I'm gonna fix that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to come to this top one, like so. Uh, is there actually a problem? Yes, there is. So I'm gonna grab this uh, top. Let me have a look, see if I've got any modifiers on. No, I've not. I'm gonna bring this in. So I'm gonna to come to proportional editing, S and X, bring this out, like so. Let's press tab. And I need to really get these uh, coming in. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna actually fix these. And I can see I do have an issue with this in that I need to press alt H bring everything back and now I can see exactly what I'm doing so I need to press S and X and I want to bring all these in on medium point so S and X and there we go bring all those in making sure nothing's sticking through and don't worry we're gonna have a piece of wood on here anyway so that's absolutely fine all right so there we go that's that bit pretty much done now we need the piece of wood on top I'm also going to come in and I'm going to take off proportional editing. I'm going to press S and X and just bring that back out just so it fits now. Okay, there we go. Now we've still got our cursor in the center, so let's press Shift A, mesh, bring in a cube, make my cube smaller, and let's put that signature piece of wood on top. So I'm probably going to make it a little bit wider. So S and Y, pull it out like so. Just making sure it's over there. So I need to press S and X. So it comes over these pieces of wood here. I'm also then going to drop it down into place and then S and X again, bring it out like so. Just make sure they're all tucked under there and then just make sure that you're happy with how chunky this actually is. So let's come in and press uh, tab, face select, sorry, edge select, grab this one and this one, and I'm gonna press S and, in fact, before I do that, actually, I'll press Control R, bring in some edge loops, so five, left click, right click, and I'll also put some edge loops going around this side as well, so a couple of edge loops that side, and then what there is now, I'll try and bring each of these sides in. So I'm gonna put proportional editing on, S and Y, bring it in a little bit a bit more like so and then I want to bring these up so I want to bring this one out as well they're not right so s and y like so all right that looks bad and now let's bring them up so I'm going to grab all of these bring it out there we go that's exactly what I'm looking for all right so that looks really cool now let's um think about if I grab these again let's just bring these ones down now without proportional editing on just to make it a nice slope yeah like so something like that right let's uh, also mark some seams so I'm gonna alt shift and click all of these like so right click mark seam and then I'm gonna come to just the edges right click mark seam something like that looks really good now let's press Control A, all transforms, right clicks, origin to geometry, and let's come in and we'll bring in our green wood. 
and then I'll press tab A U on the wrap and now I can see which uh, way I need to change the wood so you can see on the edges here I need to change that so I'm gonna come in tab grab this face this face and the top of it and I'm gonna to go to UV editing A R 90 spin them round back to modeling tab and there we go now before I join all this together what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across to my modifier add modifier and we'll just bring in a bevel modifier just to round that off a little bit it's a little bit too hard edged I'm going to bring this out a little bit something like that you can see it's much much smoother now and then I'm going to press ctrl a just to apply that and you might also want to do that to these parts now, I'm going to leave mine let's have a look actually if I uh, do that so I'm going to come in grab each one of these like so, P, selection just to split them, grab them, Control A, all transforms, right click, it's origin to geometry, add modifier, bevel, and let's put it on angle, and then we'll also come to where it says geometry, and just click clamp overlap off, and then what you need to do is you need to now turn this down, so turn it down, and then you should be able to get something that looks quite nice like so. All right, so I'm happy with that, let's apply that so Control a and now let's join it all up together Control j like so g just to make sure it's all joined okay so that's that done now for the final stage now we want to bend it and get that real oriental uh, feel to this so the way we're going to do that is we're going to use simple deform so let's click it let's add modifier in fact before we do that let's resell the transforms like we've done every other time right click set origin to geometry add modifier and come down to simple deform let's put it on bend let's put it on y and you can see there we do have some problems we don't want it like that so what we're going to do is we're going to press tab a to grab everything r y 90 spin it round enter tab again and then r y minus 90 and now you'll see that we've got the ability now to actually bend this as we want it like so that looks really nice now we're not done there because we want to also bend it the other way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply that with Control a add modifier simple deform and let's put it on y again let's also put it on bend and now we can see that we're bending it the other way. So we can see now that we're bending it this way, like so. And there you go. In fact, that's not the way that we actually want to bend it. I'm just thinking that I've bent it that way. I need to bend it the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change this around. So I'm going to press uh, RZ90 and then tab RZ-90, like so. And I should be able to bend that now upwards like that so we've got it bending this way we've got it bending this way and now you can see that looks really really nice so if i um, apply that so Control a double tap the a and there we go there is the oriental roof now the next thing that i want to do is um i want to actually render this out to show you exactly what it's going to look like and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to take it through to my portfolio render setup and you can find that in the links down below. Just head on over to Gumroad and you'll see I have one that says there, um, Portfolio uh, Render Setup. And you can download that for free and then take through your Oriental Roof through to there and then you can follow along from there. So before we do that, we obviously need to put all of this into one actual um, object and send it through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to where it says Bezier Curve, which is my actual roof. Double click it and we'll call it Oriental roof like so i'm going to save it out so file save and then what i'm going to do i'm going to come to file now i'm going to go to where it says external data i'm going to pack everything into there and you'll notice now it says pack 25 files basically what it's done is it's packed all of the files into the actual blend file so now if i head on over to my portfolio setup i can actually bring in this roof and all the textures and everything will come in so let's head on over there now so here we are in the portfolio setup, and this is exactly what you'll get. And then if you come to file, come down to where it says append. And then what you want to do is you want to find the file now which you've saved out. So here is mine. It says Oriental Roof Tutorial Build. I'm going to double click that. And then you will see that one that says objects. And you can see I've renamed it 
oriental roof let's double click that and there you go there is our roof now you will notice in a minute that all the materials will come in as well let's just let it load up might take a bit of time so let's first of all shrink it down so i'm going to press s shrink it down pull it up and then r z 90 just spin it around so it's the right size and um the right rotation press zero to go to your camera view and then i'm just going to move it into place and then i'm going to move my camera a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press the n to open up this panel view camera to view and then i'm going to press Control shift middle mouse button and just position my camera where i want it and i can see here that it needs moving a little bit over here because i don't want this cutting in there so i'm just then going to position my camera a little bit better like so move my roof a little bit and there we go now let's uh, just hit the render button and see what it looks like so render render image let's zoom out a little bit and again this is all self for you so you'll just be able to render it out straight away so there we go everyone a beautiful oriental roof so it was a bit of a long one but i hope you learned a lot we used a lot of different things in there a lot of technical stuff and Check out my links down below if you want to see more of my courses and things like that. And I'll see you on the next one, everyone. Thanks a lot. Happy modeling. Bye-bye.